Hi guys, welcome to class. Um, today we're going to talk about the internet, okay? So we're going to talk about how we use the internet, um, what we do on the internet, and also uh, just general things, yeah? So what the internet will be like in the future and things like that. So that's going to be the aim of today's class. Hopefully lots of people can join in. Uh, this time, uh, this, this first two minutes now, is um, they've changed the system so you, you use a ticket, yeah? So just, if you want to join in, press, I think, Join now. I think it's still the same thing. I'm not sure. Um, and, and join in, and we will hopefully speak to you and have a good conversation. So today we're going to talk about the internet. Hopefully, lots of people can come. Okay, Sam. Yes, I was hope I was I was hoping that you could have come, Sam. Yeah. So I was hoping that I didn't have to have a monologue. Yeah, for the whole class. Yeah, but that's cool, Sam. You have joined in. I, I think it's the hardest thing for a Roman teacher to be alone for the first two minutes. Do you know it's very difficult? Yes, um, you can understand. Yes, yeah, so it's for the reservations, but uh, sometimes, yes. Yeah, so if you if you said anything, you don't know what to say. But that's that's cool. But anyway, Sam, good. Thank you for rescuing me. How are you? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Cool. Okay, so uh, we're talking about the internet. You are a fan of the internet, right? Actually, it's it's, um, it's useful, but I don't, I don't like to call it like a fan because. When someone is addict, he doesn't have he doesn't have a choice. So you are addicted, yeah. So you don't choose to be a fan; it just happened that way, yeah. yeah so it, it actually impacts my life. For for example, if um, well, if you stop the internet for a week, well, I'll stop. I'll start to get itchy. I couldn't imagine it, yeah. So not only for verbling, but just generally, I couldn't imagine someone cutting off the internet. You know, it'd be it'd be like someone's taken my, you know extra heart, yeah, so difficult. Okay, but Sam, okay, uh, what do you use the internet most for, yeah, so what do you do on the internet? Well, the most important thing is the, you know, uh, the communication with the others. Yep. Especially in the international scale. Sure. And, of course, your work. Okay, uh, to work and to communicate. Yes. Perfect, cool. Okay, so Abdul, you're there. How are you, sir? Welcome cool. Back. Not, not too bad, Abdul. Uh, you saved me from my monologue. Okay, this is good. Okay, so Abdul. Um, yeah. What, how are you? And also, what what about you and the internet? Is it a love hate relationship, or are you properly married? Um, well, I mean, I use, but not like you know, like the other people. You know, like crazy, you know, just sitting on the internet, you know, 24-7, you know, just using social media and blah, 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 you know, no, no, no. I mean, Facebook, you know, I check my Facebook account maybe once a week or maybe once after two weeks, and uh, so I mean... We need to yeah. get some news first, yeah, so <laughs> every day, yeah. because I don't know, yeah, so what kind of messages do people put on Facebook? On your Facebook account, uh, what kind of things do they post? Yeah, so usually recently I've heard some really, really strange things. Yeah, well, so like my friends, you know, like my friends and you know, like family members and you know, and the people even I don't know. I mean, they, I mean, use you know, Facebook like crazy, you know, every day, you know, for five, six hours, you know, and just you know, posting, you know, and you know, sharing you know those stuffs which I mean we don't need to share you know like I'm in restaurant I'm eating I'm walking I'm sleeping I'm you know in restroom for example, I'm in bathroom I'm just <laughs> on, on to my personal Facebook page just to see what people are writing right now uh, some put who does hoovering at this time of the morning meaning uh, that someone of, of course is doing the vacuuming the hoovering you know cleaning the floor um, and the Facebook status is who does hoovering at this time of the morning? Great, interesting. Okay, another one. What can we say? Hit C. Uh, yeah, sweet dreams. I'm going to bed. Going to bed and then saying what clothes they are wearing to bed. Yeah. So <laughs> I think this is quite interesting. So um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, it's raining. Big whoop. Yeah, it rains every day. These, these kind of things. So that's the point. And people maybe get too addicted to it to use it all the time. 
Okay, uh, so you would check it after one week or two weeks and stuff, yeah. So just to let it build up again. Yeah, just you know, just for the for you know, if I have nothing to do, so uh, why not just let's go and you know check your Facebook account that what's new on it, you know, just yeah. for you know just for for fun for like five six minutes. Yeah. And otherwise, you know, like I really don't you know use a lot of social media on internet. Okay, so you don't use it. It's not not so uh, common for you, yeah. So. Uh, Chin, what would you say? Okay, so what is your... Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Nice to speak with you, Chin. Have we spoken before? Uh, I uh, spoke Vietnamese. Oh, we have Hello? spoken. Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. So, Chin, welcome, okay, welcome. Um, how often do you use the internet? Uh... I uh, often use internet every day. Every day. And what do you every do day. on the internet? Uh, I search in the information in the internet. I connect with my friend, and I work with internet with my uh, partner. Okay. Yeah. So you work with it. You socialize on it. It's like like the 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 hub. Yeah, for everything. Um, and what about social networking sites in your country? Um. Are they popular? Do you use things like Facebook? Um, and what kind of things do people write on these websites? Mm, yes, in uh, in my country, uh, Facebook is very popular with us. And we uh, have often connect with my friend to, to chatting or find some favorite uh, the, the, the time we can talk together. Okay, yeah, so uh, you chat about general things, I guess. Uh, but, Igor, what about, what about you, Igor? Um, you, I guess you use the internet quite a lot, um, as we all do, but what about the social networking site? No, I don't use social network site. I have a Facebook uh, account, but uh, I created uh, this Facebook only for uh, Verblink because I d cool. didn't have one. Uh, I do not talk on Facebook or I, I don't know, or I do you know, send messages all day or to talk with someone. No. Yeah. So, um, but what kind of messages do you think, like, what, what kind of messages do people send? So, another one, for example, um, I just got blo blocked by Lord Sugar on Twitter. <laughs> so, uh, this, this guy maybe wrote an inappropriate message to Lord Sugar, who's Alan Sugar on Twitter, and blocked, yes? Yeah? So it's like, I just got blocked by this, yeah? Just saying some random things, yeah? Oh, uh, we're going to the theatre, yeah? Or, I don't know, things like this. Um, so, d Igor, are you curious about things like this that people say? So does this make you curious, or are you thinking, well, I don't need to know anything like this? What do you mean, what people? Uh, these people, people's statuses, yeah? So on Facebook, when they write oh. things like, I'm eating okay. a tomato and lettuce and ham sandwich for lunch, yeah? Things like <laughs> this. Does this interest you? No, no, no. I have some friends on Facebook here, but... Um... Uh, do not um, not not many. I mean, uh, friends. Do you know on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I do not read usually what they read on their main page or I don't know statuses. Uh, these kind of things. I Only private messages. Only yes, yeah, so not not statuses. I have a couple of people that uh, I've got on Facebook. Um, maybe from I don't know school from when I was like I don't know five years old or something. But I can't remember who they are, but some of them are quite entertaining. Yeah. So um, if you ever want to feel uh, better about your, your own life, sometimes oh, I'm so miserable today. Oh, I woke up with this. I always like these complainy statuses I hear a lot. Yeah. So things like this. Okay. So, but Sam, what about you and Facebook? Okay. You have a Facebook account, I know, because you've added me. Um, do you like Random statuses. Mm, random statuses. Do you find it entertaining to read about people's lives? Oh uh, well, no, I don't find it entertaining to read about people's lives. But I found, I think the the best the best posts are the ones that are original, not shared, and not personal. Like someone doing like some sort of poetry or um, some sort of quotes from herself, not from from the others. I mean, yeah. Have you ever shared a, a uh, have you ever shared a um, like a, a status? Yeah. So someone something that someone else has written. Have you ever shared this? Um, would you pass oh. it on? There's one that I did uh, recently because it was quite funny. Yeah. So 
Um, but usually it can get a bit tedious if you see it all the time. People just writing, showing random things. You're thinking, actually, this is not funny, yeah? So, um, well, sometimes I, I have some friends that share some things that I don't consider appropriate. So I usually either mute their posts if I can't unfriend them, or otherwise I'll yeah. just kick him out. OK, yeah. So this is one, for example, I got, if you can see my screen, I'm not sure. Uh, this is something I did. Um, Share for your English, just if you read this, yeah? So uh, maybe Abdul, could you read this out loud? Can you see my screen? Can oh, you see my screen? Just here, just here. Yeah, I can see now. Oh, it's gone again. I don't know what's wrong with Google Hangout. Yeah, I can see now again. Okay. 20 years ago, we heard, uh, we heard Johnny. 20 years ago, we had Johnny Cash, Bob, uh, Bob Hope, and Steve Jobs. Now we have no cash, no hope, no jobs. Please don't let Kevin Bacon die. Did you understand? Yeah. So uh, 20 years ago, Johnny Cash. You know Johnny Cash? Uh, no, I can only I only know one person, Steve Jobs. Okay, so Johnny Cash, I think, is like a, like a maybe country western, maybe a Texan. I don't know yet, but he's American. He he died, I think. Um, and Bob Hope is someone else. I don't know, but these are celebrities. And Steve Jobs, yeah. So twenty years ago, we had Johnny Cash, Bob Hope, and Steve Jobs. Now we have no cash, no, no hope, and no, no jobs. Hope. Please don't yeah. let Kevin Bacon die. Yes. <laughs> okay. That, I thought that was quite good. This is the one and only states I've ever shared. Yeah. So the rest I don't. Mm. I think they're usually quite, you know, boring, whatever. But okay. Uh, so you like the internet, Sam? Uh, but what's your favourite website? My favourite website, I think, is Verbling. For now. You say Verbling. Cool. Okay. Even I'm, about I have you. Some, some sort Are of. Are you buttering us up? Page. Huh? Are you buttering us up? Were you in that class earlier? You had to butter someone up. Oh, uh, yes. Like, uh, you know, share something. Would you like me to share something? Okay. Yeah, okay, give. It, come back to me later. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Okay, so uh, Igor. Okay, what's your favorite website? Yes. Uh, you can say probably. No. <laughs> you, will not be, you will not believe me, but uh, my favorite website is uh, google.com because uh, I can... Without uh, Google. Without yeah. Google, I cannot uh, find anything, but uh, in Google, I can find all kinds. It's very useful and very powerful uh, website, uh, search, uh, search engine. Uh, with search engine and without what? Google, there'll be no Hangouts. The no verbing, yeah. So we say Google. Uh, yes, Google is the most. Uh, you introduce uh, wherever word, and you find all information about that word. So yeah, this uh, most powerful. It's website. like you know, it's genius. Okay, so has do you like Google? Does everyone use Google? Because in some countries they don't use Google. So they use like Yahoo. So in Japan they use like Yahoo more and stuff. Um, I think in China they don't have Google. Um, Google has, is the most. Uh, Powerful actually, actually, most most of the time I use Google. Sometimes use Bing, yeah. but uh, my favorite website is YouTube. You know, yeah. I love watching videos, and uh, YouTube gives you the chance to uh, to you know get more familiar with other cultures, and I love YouTube. Here. Okay, yes, yeah. so it's quite interesting. You can see how the other side live, yeah. So how it is yeah. uh, somewhere completely different. That's cool. Um, yeah. Chin, what's your favorite website? Chin, what's your favorite website? My uh, favorite website is the Google, the same too. You uh, say Google? Because, yes, I like Google because I can sort everything in the Google. It is very convenient convenient for me with any uh, information with so Google. And the thing is ultimately, you know, things like Facebook could go out and get, get less popular, um, other websites could get less popular, but Google, yeah, will it, you know, it's so, so big now, is it too big to fail? That, that's another question. <laughs> but after, what do you think? I mean, I really don't know. I mean, uh... 
but I can tell you that which websites I use, you know, mostly. Yeah. YouTube, Google, Yahoo. Do you use Yahoo? Do you actually use Yahoo? For mail and stuff, yeah? Yahoo Mail. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, yeah, so things like this. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's good. But definitely Google, YouTube. What would I say? Yeah, so Google, yeah. YouTube, Facebook, Verbling, of course. Um, you know, th these kind of things. Um, th does anyone like a very peculiar website? Maybe a very, very small... There's, oh, there was a very good website, I think it's still on, uh, called The Fail Blog. It's very, very funny. Um, has anyone heard of this? Yeah, so The Fail Blog. I think there are a lot of these. Yeah, I think yeah. So there is now, I think, lot, lots. But I think called the fail blog. Yeah. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, it's funny pictures about things that happen that like we, what are called fails. Yeah. So I, I don't know if I can show you some. Uh, they're not usually inappropriate, so they're usually okay. Uh, but wait, wait. I'm trying to find you something, but this this is like a smaller website. It's not like Google, but something kind of maybe that we haven't heard of. Guys, do you have a popular website that you use that you look at quite often, but maybe we haven't heard of? Um, did you see the WTF blog? Not the blog, like a Facebook page. And what what is this? Um, it's like some sort of comics about fails and. Funny stories. Okay, things like that. Yeah, just just random stuff. Um, so here we go. For example, on the fail blog, uh, this relationship is going to kill me. Yeah. So it's it's just stupid pictures like like this. Um, things like that. Yeah. So. Um, yes. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So just uh, stupid things. Does anyone follow any websites like this? No, I don't. Okay, no, that's cool. Um, but yeah, does any, but Abdul, do you use a website that maybe we don't know about? For movies, I use uh, a website. You know, I can send you the link. You know, a website, can, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> no, as in, as in something that's maybe not quite legal, Abdul. Do you download uh, illegal films? No, no, no. I think it's not illegal. Yeah, I think it's it's okay. You can okay. watch. Uh, Hundreds of movies, but not like fresh and new movies, like you know. So slightly older ones, yeah. So not yeah. recent ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but you know, but like something. There is a, a great invention that is called um, torrents. Torrents, yeah. Things like this, yeah. So uh, this is so. Um, how is the situation in your country? Is it easy to illegally download things? Okay, so. Abdul, okay, is it easy to illegally download things in your country? No, no, it's not. not easy. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's almost impossible. It's not possible. Yeah. yeah. So I think in in Russia, I've heard it's quite very very easy to get things like books and stuff. Yeah. So if I've got, a, a, I don't know, a private student whether I say, oh yeah, maybe you can uh, you can buy this book. They say, oh, I don't need to buy it. They know some website and they can get everything. Thing, yeah, so seriously, everything without any difficulty. But um, of course, but you can get uh, if you want, Martin, from Germany, from UK, from other or all countries. No, but the yeah, period pay that you that C E I think uh, S E the period pay that C. -E. Okay, yeah. So uh, a lot of them are trying to be blocked and things like this, but you can, of course, you can illegally download music and, and films and stuff for free. Yeah, for free, for free. Lots of people do this. Yeah, but they, there's like quite strict laws now, but no one enforces them because so many people do it. It's very, very difficult to punish them. But in theory, you can get, you know, prison or whatever. Uh, but so many people do it. It's actually difficult to, to please. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's cool. Okay, so uh, no one will confess on the internet if they do this kind of thing, yeah? So illegally <laughs> download. I only buy from uh, store CDs and DVDs. You buy? Really? Yeah, CDs and DVDs every day. I spend uh, $100 on this. I do not wow. download nothing. Okay, why? Why are you joking? Now, why, why would I spend money on something that is available for free, right? That's the thing. And you know, um, this is an argument they're saying, they're saying at the moment is because so many people are doing this, um, 
and it's natural human behavior. If you can get something free, you're going to take the free option, yeah? So uh, no one wants to spend money if they can get something free. So what they're doing now is they're talking about how they can make money in other ways. Um, knowing that people are wanting to access the content for free, they're going to make more money maybe by having more advertising and stuff and make it more open. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know, yeah? So it's a big, big thing. Abdul, yeah, do you think, uh, is there a moral obligation to pay for something that we can access maybe for free? I mean, I don't know, but if if something is is legally okay, yeah, in some part of the world, so it's some okay. Part of it, yeah, yeah, we are but, a, a global citizen. That's what you can say in the court. Yeah, so under American yeah. law, maybe it's illegal. But as I'm a global citizen, I'm a citizen <laughs> of the world. You know, somewhere I don't know, Fiji, it's all right. Yes, yeah? so I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, there, I mean, there are some countries, you know, um, in the world. They don't have any copyright laws. Yeah. So if you if if, they, if if you don't have any copyright laws in your country, so I mean, I mean there is no you know, any moral obligation for you. You can access you know anything you want. But if 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 there are some copy laws in your in your uh, um, constitution, so I mean, you should you know obey those laws. Yeah, so, so you should respect them, yeah? So, of yeah. course, do everything you can in a kind of legal way, yeah? So, exactly, well, of course. exactly, yeah. Okay, uh, what's your attitude, Chin, uh, to illegally downloading things? Um, there's a background noise. There is. Actually, I have to put a link, yeah? Actually, for me, I guess it's more immoral before being illegal, you know, because many of these companies work very hard to to uh, make it, this game or this movie or sometimes this song. So it's immoral to just download it and get it for free. And yeah. most of the time, the prices are not that high. So if you want something, you, you have to pay for it. And the thing is, this is so, is that, for example, with uh, films, you know, they, they, the films are that good because they've got money from somewhere. The money doesn't just grow on trees. They produce a film because they have money to do that. Um, yeah. And then yeah. if they lose money, if no one's buying, the films will get crap, will get rubbish, and will have not good entertainment. Or they'll do things like putting loads of adverts in, yeah? So they need to get the money somehow. It just is not free to produce these films. Um, so maybe if we're not paying, they're going to add these adverts, and it's just going to be irritating, I think, yeah? So for me, I'd rather maybe pay a bit of money than just watch a load of adverts, yeah, or one after the other. I don't know how they would do it, but it's true that they need to get money from somewhere, yeah? So it's interesting. But, okay. but when they uh, launch a program or, um, for example, a game or a movie, yes, they know that not all people will buy this. Uh, yeah. Some people will do, uh, so they know about that, and in price is included this. Uh, uh, that's not all people. For example, if okay. would buy all people from the earth, not yeah. all, but health, they would have extra profits. But uh, they have. Uh, or they would, yeah, and that's the thing. So it could also maybe. Do you think, for example, now the cinema? Because in the UK, I don't know how much it is in your country, but it's it's quite expensive, yeah. Go to Sorry, Martin. Could you say to uh, has to mute himself because uh, a background noise for him, and we there muted is. him, but he unmuted himself. Okay, has. Uh, we can just hear some typing or something like this. I've just noticed. We're going to mute you, but when you want to speak, please unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, but at the moment, we'll, we'll keep you muted. But I check, like uh, you know, maybe I'll go to the cinema this weekend, and you can fly back on Friday uh, for a weekend, and. I checked, it's like nine pounds to go to the cinema. Nine pounds, you know? Uh, wow. This is like fourteen dollars maybe. You're thinking, what, you know? So I think it, I think it's crazy. So therefore you can understand why people are thinking, well actually, the D V D will be cheaper than this anyway when it comes out. Um, and also you can get it online for free, yeah. But it's probably because the price are high because people they, they get the money from somewhere and so many people are downloading that they need to get the money so they, they push up the prices maybe, yeah? So I don't know if that's a thing. And because it's uh, uh, when first time a movie is uh, released, how to name, it's a uh, debut? It's a debut. debut. So they uh, take more money for this. Yeah. Because uh, we'll go who will go, who are really interested, who have the money, and after yeah. that they lower the price because 
It's not. It just gets less popular. It's like with DVDs, yeah. yes? Yeah? So now you can get really, really cheap uh, DVDs. Um, or films even from a year ago or so. But yeah, Sam, okay, what do you think? Um, do you think we have a moral obligation to pay? Uh, no. I think, um, for ex especially if you don't have the resources in, the, in, the, in your location. For example, um, some TV shows, um, they're they not broadcasted except in the United States, let's say, or the United States and UK, but they don't exist in Europe. Uh, or it is very expensive. Uh, I mean, um, people are already paying, and the, and the the company is already gaining profit, and you just have to. It's very tempting to just download it for free. I mean, and the thing is, a lot of the money goes to the actors, the actresses, and things. Um, who, yeah, they should be paid fairly for their work, but some get like maybe I don't know five million dollars per film. And you can Extra bet your dollar. You can bet, bet your bottom dollar that they'll be prepared to work um, if you know the market allowed for maybe one million dollars. No one's going to refuse. I don't know, Abdul. What would you say? You're good at this kind of stuff. If, for example, the film industry got less money, that means they pay less uh, money to the the stars, the directors, and stuff. Would this mean? Would this equate to worse films, or would it just mean that things um, shrink a bit? Yeah. So the money that directors get will reduce. But proportionally, it's still a very, very good amount of money, Abdul. Yeah? Do you think this will uh, change the film industry if the film industry got less money? If the film in, uh, the, the question, your question is if the film industry get less money, so it will maybe. affect the quality of the films? Yeah, because they maybe have to pay uh, actors less or, or something like this. Definitely, it will impact. I mean, it's all about competition, you know. I mean, yeah. you have to stay in the market, you know, and you have to compete. Yeah. And uh, things are very tough out there, you know, nowadays, I mean, it's very hard to compete. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to be, you know, I mean, very tough, you know. Okay. And what would you do then, Abdul? So, if you were, like, the boss of a film company or a music company, um, what about the internet and things like this, um, losing money, how would you react to it? What would you do if you were leading this com a company like this? A company uh, uh, like a, uh, a, a, a I don't know a film producing company or music uh, production company or um, anything that maybe um, is losing money because of the internet yeah so uh, because people are downloading illegally how would you respond to this change in our behavior well the thing is you know my demand would be pretty straightforward you know from the government that protect me you know I mean we have copyright laws in this country and please you know I mean uh, there should be somebody in the government who should enforce those copyright laws you know if somebody is stealing my stuff which is not fair you know so I mean I would my demand would be straightforward from the government you know that hey I mean there are something in the constitution you know and you guys should enforce that thing you know it's the copyright law please you know go ahead and enforce that you know that thing sure okay yes yeah, so you'd say basically Hopefully the government is secure enough um, yeah. that they can enforce it. Now, are they enforcing it in America? So uh, with the legal downloads, things like this, because this is a big industry for America, so with Hollywood and things like this, um, how are the government reacting? I'm, I think they are very strict. Quite strict. So if you illegally download a movie, what would the punishment be? I don't know the punishment, and uh, I'm not sure that is it a a federal crime, federal offense, or no? I'm not sure, but I think it is a federal offense because I mean FBI, you know, they deals with those kind of stuffs, yeah. which is a okay, federal, so. which is a federal uh, investigation, you know, bureau. Yep. So I mean, it is a federal crime, I think. Yeah. So they are very strict on this. This. So they're watching us. Ha ha ha! Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting. Okay. Uh, and Sam, how strict do you think it is in Spain compared with Syria? Yes. So, uh, are you worried that you could be caught? Yes. Um, actually, if not you, much. I'm not saying you download illegally. I'm just saying, if, for example, you were to download something illegally, would you be worried? Of course, that is part of the context. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, uh, talking about illegal downloads. Well, there are millions inside Europe and United States who do this, and I don't think it's related to the to the end user. Mm. And um, well, they have to arrest millions to do this, 
And uh, other, another thing is that the, the sources of this illegal information are inside inside Europe. For example, if you know that website Pirate Bay. It's a German guy, isn't it? Is it? No, okay. I think it, it, it's, it's a Swedish. Ah, okay, yeah. So, you, well, they should, you should, they should um, follow the company, not the million users who are just subscribing yeah. that. What's so that? block the supply, yes? If the supply is blocked, then, you know, it's easy, easier. Um, the thing is, though, it's difficult, yeah? So people can go to different countries and set up these websites and stuff. But, Igor, do you worry at all about being caught? Not that you would, because you spent a lot of money, and you spend a lot of money per yeah. day. Yeah, you know? as I said, $100 <laughs> per day. Per month, uh, 3000 3, yes? It's okay, yes? That's too yeah. cool, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, contributed um, to, you know, Kira Knightley, yeah? So that's, that's okay. Yeah, I bought, I bought Windows 7, Windows 8, all editions. You bought all of it? Yeah. I have okay, now do you feel like a good human being? Yeah, that I um, sustain Microsoft. It's like a charity, yes? <laughs> like you're donating. Okay, that's cool. Okay, but and yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we have a um, local uh, torrent, uh, like uh, Pirate Bay, but it's local uh, from our country. And, uh, Not that you've it's, heard of it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a high speed, because we have forum. I only enter on that forum and ask something, but I do not download nothing. <laughs> so uh, this uh, site is very popular because uh, uh, speed is very high. When you download, you download from our country with yeah. maximal speed, uh, what you can download very fast. Yeah. So uh, they um, uh, uh, la uh, year uh, last year, or how yeah, to say year, that? Uh, last last year, yep, last year. Yeah, last year or two years ago. Uh, the I year before know. last, yeah. Yeah, year before last or last year, they uh, closed this website because uh, they said that uh, it's uh, low. Uh, what? Uh, it's illegal. It's not violate, it's illegal. Uh, violate law, yes? It's illegal. Yes, law, yeah, it's illegal yeah. or, yeah. Because they are uh, all, 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 all movies, all uh, programs, all what you need you have on that website. So they closed, but after one month they uh, opened again. They, uh, I don't know why, but they said that uh, will be opened again, and the site was opened again. And uh, we do not have someone who watches us or restrictions, so you can hear if you have internet, good internet, you do not every day, all day, what you need and how much you want. And you're not worried about people catching you, yeah? Things like yes, this. and you can put on your computer all Windows, uh, all kind of operating system, all Adobe programs, for example, and no one will control you about yeah. that. In that but case, there's no all. incentive. Martin, yeah, there's we no have incentive about that. Martin, yeah, there's a lot, but there's no incentive for you not to, yeah? So the, the punishment's not big enough, yeah? So yeah. Is that what you can say? Sam? Uh, yes, uh, I was saying, would you please answer the same question? Uh, would you worry about downloading, um, um, you know? A little bit, yes. So a little, uh, a little bit, because there is some strict laws about this. And, for example, you know, people can monitor what you do on the internet, things like this. I know, like, you know, spies and stuff like this. Um, but I wouldn't say that, because I wouldn't say that, especially now, that's the priority of the government, yeah? So I don't think that they care so much, too much about this because there's other problems, yeah? So I don't think they've, um, they're going to hire lots of people to check things, but I would worry partly, but, um, mm, mm, yeah, 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 that's it. Ma okay, so. Martin, say true, uh, say only truth, uh, truth. How many programs yesterday you downloaded from period by? Uh, <laughs> two or ten? Next, next question. Okay, so yeah, right. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, they, I think Igor wants you, to, <laughs> wants you to send you in the jail. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yes. <laughs> Broadcast okay, live on the internet. The, on Facebook, okay. you, you will write <laughs> answer. Okay. okay yeah, now they're gonna now now you've told them where we're gonna message this. Yes. Yeah? So and now they're gonna check on Facebook. But anyway, okay. So good, good, good. Chin. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but I I, wor I would worry theoretically, I would <laughs> worry about it. Okay. Well, okay. Well, uh, 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 one question, you know, if you allow me. Uh, you are living in Germany at the moment, right now, yeah. right? Yeah. So, is it easy to buy, you know, pirated software? Um, so? 
it could be worse, a, a difficult jump. Oh, this is one thing that annoys me, yeah? So, um, is that, for example, if you want to watch even a video with, on YouTube with music, there's an organization called Gamer, yeah? And this it just protects everything, meaning if there's a little bit of music from an artist and this person hasn't paid for a license, then this video cannot be pay, played on YouTube. So I cannot hardly watch anything on YouTube here because of this, this organization and it's really, really protected. Even if it's, for example, a five second glimpse of a song, oh, this uh, it has not been licensed, this cannot play in, in your region where you are, yeah? So, uh, and, uh, that's so. And what about the softwares like MS Office or Windows and those kind of stuff? I haven't tried because just because I had everything beforehand, yeah. So before I came, but I haven't tried. But I think things like this copyright is very very strict in Germany, from what what I've noticed. But we we'll ask Peter later. Uh, but things like you know, copying things like books and stuff, yeah, it's really really difficult. I think. And, uh, and in the UK, diff It's also difficult, but not as strict. For example, you can watch anything on YouTube, yeah? So sometimes, for example, BBC will block things uh, because of the license fee in, in the UK or whatever, um, and they'll say, watch it on iPlayer, but um, it's, it's still quite strict, I'd say, but not as strict as, for example, if it's got a, if there's a music video, that would be usually allowed on YouTube, yeah? So I'd say in Germany it's more strict. Uh, software, is po it, it could be possible, yeah, in the UK to download the software. Yeah, oh, so this is something new for me, okay. Can you download it where you are? No, I mean, uh, you mean like you can buy a pirated CD of Window in the UK? That's what you, you're telling me, right? Uh, it's possible. I've heard that some, well, I know some people who have done this, yeah? So to download uh, software illegally is possible, but using maybe foreign websites or something. Right. So websites that are based offshore, things like this. Oh, OK. Things like this. But in terms of UK sites, I think it's, uh, it's probably controlled. Although things probably slip through that, yeah. But that's a that's a thing. Okay, so uh, should there be some kind of international law? This is a real problem for these kind of industries: the music industry, the film industry, the software companies. And uh, should there be some kind of common international law which really regulates everything? So make sure that if you you're using something, you're paying for it. I think it's not possible. It's not. Uh, it's never possible. Because you're talking about uniting the international laws, it's, it's impossible. Everyone has his own philosophy. Yeah. Okay. So, so if, there's, there's if you think about Microsoft, yeah. Um, Microsoft, for example, I don't think they take it seriously to lock their their products. Yes, they have like a product key, but you can take any copy from the internet. And I think it's it's their policy to to make it somehow possible to break the key, because they want their product to be the dominant in the market so everyone takes it but what's interesting of microsoft that you can download uh, free copies official copies from their websites uh, with the trial key that works so uh, for example 90 days or 180 days windows that work legally on your computer for example windows server if you want to test uh, microsoft office i know, I know that some for students they give for free all ki all kind of products Microsoft give for free official yeah. on website. And so, you know, software now is, can be very very cheap. So uh, there's a you know there's lots of bundling websites where you pay I don't know fifty dollars. I paid recently fifty dollars for maybe uh, nine or ten pieces of software, um, and this is very very good. Yeah. So the, the stuff like I don't know video recording software, things random things like I don't know photo editing stuff. And they, they, there's websites which bundle them up, and you think, well, fifty dollars, you know, that averages out less than five dollars per piece of software. You think that's okay to pay, yeah? So that's that's okay. So things like this, they will respond, I think, uh, because you know, I don't know. Abdul, would you be prepared to pay something like fifty dollars if you got ten pieces of good software? Definitely, it's you know, it's pretty good deal, you know. Like if you are getting, you know, a bunch of software, you know, for forty, fifty bucks. So I mean, this is you know. This is like it's a speed, yeah. So it's okay, yeah. Like the speed, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so it's like a legal, um, almost stealing, but not quite. Okay, so no, in I mean, that steel case, my, steel my gets like a good deal, you know. Yeah. But okay, I think so, uh, international yeah. companies, you asked what they can do to improve, uh, so people would buy uh, all from them, but not from internet and all that. What they can do? What they can do something to be cheaper. 
uh, yeah, I, I think one dollar for a program, for example. It wouldn't make a difference. People just oh. don't like spending money, yeah? So, yeah, no, yes, one, but, like, no one likes spending money. Uh, you agree that uh, maybe from 10 people, we'll start by five people. Five, five people would not buy, but five people will start to buy. Okay, if uh, yes. the program would cost uh, less uh, than now, for example, uh, they are. It can be quite expensive, yeah. So uh, it can. I don't know what it's like in your country, but to get Microsoft Office and stuff, the whole package it can be quite expensive. But do you think, really quickly, Sam? So if things were cheaper, would this mean that more people don't download? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know if that would make a difference. I think people, if people can get it for free, and it's easy to get it for free. No one will pay any money, not even ten cents. Yeah. So well, I, but, I think I think it's not only about about the money. Uh, even sometimes it's related to the service itself. Whereas, uh, I mean, if you if you don't have it in your city, will you travel to the PC, for example, or or, or order it by delivery? Yep. That's not reasonable. Like, I mean, the, you wouldn't find these websites that facilitate that that facilitate all these illegal stuff unless it was a long time problem. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's serving a it's serving a market a niche. Um, Chin, are you still there? Jin? Okay, we can't hear you. Just check your microphone. Make sure it's not muted. Okay. I'll show you. I'll share my screen just in case. Uh, it's okay. Just here in the top uh, right-hand corner. Okay. Just make sure it's okay, and hopefully we can hear. You. I hope I haven't alienated you, Chin. Yeah. So I hope you're not like, what are they talking about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Okay. Can't hear you just yet, Chin. But hopefully we can speak very, very, very soon. Okay, so uh, Abdul, do you think people like paying money for things? No, no. People, you know, nowadays people don't want to pay for nothing. People want to see, I mean, get things for free. You know, everything. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. To, if if you had the option, for example, spending five dollars or f nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think I don't know. Yeah. So, if I could get something for free and it was perfect legal, it was perfect fine. I wouldn't pay for it. Yeah. So that, that's the, mm. the thing. And all those, you know, the countries, you know, are responsible for those for this kind of, you know, attitude of the people, you know, who are who wants to, you know, give money to the people, you know, like yeah. social programs, you know, welfare handouts and those kind of things. These governments are responsible for that kind of attitude, you know. Yeah. Okay, so the government should should regulate and stuff, but we can be just like normal consumers and just you know want the best deal. But okay, so what would you say, Sam? Has the uh, go back to the topic a bit? Has the increased use of computers and the internet been a good or a bad thing? Are we spending too much time on the internet? Well, um, it's a trade-off. I mean, yes, you, you can see some good things in life. For example, you don't need the mail service anymore. Um, especially for paperwork yeah. and well you have all the songs on your computer oh, oh, everything is on your computer today and if you, did you hear about that 3D printer yeah 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 there was a guy um, who made a gun from this yeah so yeah I was surprised because uh, I mean this is like a new future if you imagine if you if you can see the future of this 3D printer today it's plastic tomorrow it's metallic and you can produce your own Ferrari in your house. I think it's awesome, yeah. So you can, and the thing is, what what happened with this? For example, if you could eventually make it your own car, um, is that you know people download illegally maybe the uh, the what you, what's needed to to print out a car and stuff. But um, I'll sh share my screen so you can see for those who don't know about this. But it's like a three D printer, um, and it's just basically you can make a. Uh, Things out of it, yeah. So with this, has anyone seen this before? Guys, can you see? Yes, we can. Okay, what do you think of this, Abdul? I heard about this, but I don't have enough knowledge, you know. But do you think it would be useful for you in the future if you could have it at home? Every technology is useful, I think. So anything can be useful. You just have to find. Uh, but I don't know how much this would be co uh, would cost. But this would do a lot of damage, I think, to lots of industries. Yeah. So souvenir shops. You're like, okay, let's Google. I don't know. Uh, 
the Empire State Building make my own souvenir <laughs> rather than. I think after many years uh, would be something like today uh, printer, simple printer. You have, uh, for example, black white, uh, white, black and white printer or uh, color printer will be something uh, usual that you can mm. do something uh, at your home and will be cheaper, relatively cheaper. I think it's quite cool. Yeah. So all you put is the materials, and then you can make anything you want. I think that's awesome. Okay, but I don't know, yeah, so it's, it's quite good. Okay, so this is the 3D printer. Um, and how would it work? So, for example, I don't know, you could then buy products and make them yourself, yeah? So, yeah, I think you can you can have your own program, similar like Photoshop, but 3D in, in a 3D way, for example, like 3D Max or something but like that. Also, for example, I don't know, if you need a, a, a cup, you don't need to go to the shop, you can just maybe go to online and you can buy maybe the kind of template for making a cup, yeah, and download that, I don't know, spend half a dollar, and you can make the products at home, yeah, so it's like your own factory. Okay, that's, that's interesting, but is there a point to it, guys? I'm, I'm struggling to see the point. Yes, uh, um, even if you think about it, if you have a pen, for example, a plastic dry pen, and it's still working, but you broke the cover, you can make a new one. Okay, that's quite useful. Yeah, I understand that. That's cool. Eager, is it useful? Printer with kind of printer? 3D printer, yeah. Yes, of course, uh, would be useful. It would be, I said that it would be like a simple printer. You, after many years, uh, uh, you would not be surprised if uh, someone would have at home. With and then we don't printer. need the factories, things like this, yeah? So, if, yeah, okay, so it's cool. Chin, can we hear you now? Still, still not. Okay. So anyway, okay. So that, that's cool. Okay. So things like this. Let's let's do with technology. But what do you think would be the latest big website? So we've got Facebook. That's a big website. We've got uh, Google. That's a very very big website as well. What kind of website do you think would be the next big thing? What idea would it have to encompass? Yeah. So do we need any more websites? I think Microsoft will launch something uh, in the future because they uh, now. They they uh, try to be on the level with Google and uh, another websites, and they try try, and I think they will will succeed. Eventually, they've got the money to invest well, in this kind of thing as well. Facebook right? and Google. I think if Facebook and Google united, <laughs> well, uh, they will they will be the dominant for a long time. Can you imagine? Yeah. So I don't know. Um, but what kind of guys? Of course, you're not going to chef. You've got an idea. But if you could. Uh, if there could be one website that would solve a problem in your life, what kind of website would that be? So, guys, <laughs> are all your I'm 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 going to take notes. But are all your needs met in your life, or is there something you think right? If there's a website where I could do this, that would be very very useful to me. I think you can be greedy and say Google with with its contents. Does because everything for you? Yeah, that I mean, anything you get. You can you can just I, I mean your question is that that you remove your navigator, your, your address address bar, and and just use a website, right? Okay, you no. can go use Google. Uh, you can go to any website. To Google. Yeah. But is there a website? Uh, is there something that you 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 need in your life, but you're not? It's not being met by a current website. Yeah, you're thinking, oh, it would be really really cool if there was a website which provided. Blah, 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 or which allowed me to. Well, do you think we have enough? Yeah, there's enough. Of course, they, they, things can develop. But do you think all our needs are met by the internet? Yeah. So, Igor, what do you say? I don't quite understand the question. Could you? Uh, okay. Are or? all your needs met by the internet? Can you do everything you want to do on the internet, or is there something more you need to do or oh. you'd like to be able to do on the internet? Okay, I think uh, all kind of uh, things uh, I can do on the internet. Uh, I do not see any limit. There's, yeah, there's, there's nothing else to be created, um, I guess. Yeah. So Abdul, okay, uh, are all your net needs met by the internet? Uh, all my needs? No, I don't think so. Okay, tell us. What? Yeah. So, what's it? For example, you can't eat on the internet. Yeah, yet. But you can order food on the internet. Yes. Yeah? So that's okay. Yeah. And uh, there's still a problem know. with the reality. Sorry, Sam. 
Yeah, there is a there is still a problem with the reality thing. For example, um, for me, I am I am a technician, but I still hate hate, and I don't like to accept using um, electronic coin, for example. Okay, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin. Okay, even though you are a techie guy, uh, you still you're not hundred percent convinced by things. You're not hundred percent confident in things like this. Okay, I don't so. Think my problem, though, the, with the technical side, I think it's with the economical side. I, I don't trust banks. It's, it's, I think it's tricky with this electronic currency we're talking about. Do you, does everyone know about this? Abdul, do you know about the Bitcoin? The Bitcoin? The Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Have you had? Bitcoin? No, I never heard about this one. Uh, Igor, could you explain? Do you know this? Uh, do, do you know what a Bitcoin is, Igor? Uh, no, no, no. I heard, but I wasn't uh, on your lessons when right. you discussed. I think. All right. Uh, Chin, are you there? Okay, Chin. We haven't been able to to hear you. Um, could you write in the the chat box if you can hear us? Yeah. So just write yes, I can hear, or or no, or or whatever. Well, of course, you wouldn't say no. But that's cool. Okay. So uh, Sam, could you explain to us? Well, I kind of know, but not not hundred percent sure. What actually the Bitcoin is, and what the point of it is. Yes, yeah, so why people, um, why they invented it, and what is Bitcoin it? Bitcoin yeah. is just um, a new way of presenting money in the internet, like uh, making an electronic currency, virtual currency, yeah. and of course making making them under control with security, to make sure that they can't be duplicated or, um, you know. Although well, someone hacked into it, did you hear a couple of weeks ago? There's a story someone managed to hack into it or something, I think, yeah? So, uh, hack into the system somehow. Um, and, yeah, it was g because there was some flaw with the coding, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I read about this. Uh, but do you, tr you don't trust it, but you're saying you don't, it's not because you don't trust it, but you don't think it's good economically. Why not? Um, I don't know. Go I mean, converting the value of life to, to something that you can copy and paste. I mean, and, and, and it's under the control of, of some companies and not everyone. Well, someone will find a way out. Someone will find a way around. Around the system, yeah, through the system. For example, if they can, if someone can hack into the White House's computer system, they can hack into, you know, private companies, this kind of thing as well. So basically, it's a virtual currency where you can buy goods online, um, and it's just through coding. So uh, maybe each coin has a special code, and you can't copy and paste this code or something. Uh, but basically, you can buy anything on online with this virtual currency, um, and there's a limit. I think there's something like twenty. Is there twenty-one million of these coins? Um, so the price goes up accordingly. You can exchange dollars for these coins, and it starts with maybe twenty dollars, uh, twenty dollars per coin, and Bitcoin. Um, and now it's maybe like one hundred and fifty dollars or something. Yeah. So it, the value increased quite quickly. It's just an, a virtual currency. So you can buy things online with with this and that, that kind of stuff. I found, um, found some sort of a website that okay. that deals only. You can make an account. You don't need to re, to link it to your bank account because um, it's only it's like your bank account on the internet. You use only the all sort of internet coins like euros, dollars, um, gold, and you can. I, I I'm not sure that maybe you can send it to your PayPal account and convert it to real money. I mean, the thing is, I don't understand the point right now because, for example, if I was to, uh, if I needed to pay for something from Sam, yeah, so um, I would just, I don't know, pay through PayPal or something like this, and it works quite instantly. But now you have to buy the coins first and then transfer the coins, and it's just the same as, as putting the money on the PayPal account or paying directly with PayPal. Yeah, so I don't, I think it sounds a bit pointless, but maybe it's because I don't understand it properly. Igor, do you understand now? Kind of thing it yeah, is, I understood. Like, but we have um, here in uh, countries like Russia, like, like near Russia, yes, we yeah. have uh, web money. I think. Do you know this? Yeah. So it's like it's like PayPal. Yeah. So it's like PayPal. Yeah, like PayPal. You ha have the account, uh, and the, you, for example, uh, you have in the your city exchange. You give, for example, one dollar. They give you one web money. And uh, you can buy, ah, you can okay. pay yeah, to yeah. someone. For example, you 
work for me, yes, and or someone work for me, and yeah, I can pay with this uh, web money, and that person can go on that in his city and to exchange that web so, money to dollars. So you already have it, yes. Yeah? So in that case, you know, the needs not being met, we should just adopt the system. But yeah, high, so high commissions. Uh, this is why is not popular, very popular, because high commissions on exchange, relatively high, I mean, yeah. not high, but when you exchange, for example, 1,000 web money, $1,000, you have to pay much money, $20. A lot. Yes. So, yeah, to exchange. Oh. So it's quite, quite expensive. And that's the thing. So this is just like virtual currency, but to be honest, I don't know if it's serving a, a, a need. Yeah? Oh, it, it must be, yeah? So it's, it's quite successful already, I think. But would you use this, Abdul? Would you want to, if you're buying something online, Use just your credit card, your debit card, or a virtual currency, a completely new currency that's just for online. What happens, for example, I don't know if your computer crashes or their server crashes, you know, but that could happen mm. again with a bank, couldn't it? Yeah, so I, I don't know. Well, I think, I don't know, but I would not, I would not do that, you know, I would just go with the regular credit or debit card, you know, I mean, it's already, the currency is already too much, you know, complex, you know. Credit card, debit card, cash, you know, gift cards, this, that, you know. It's already keep I it mean, simple, yeah? So yeah, just keep it simple, you know. I mean, you have the money and, you know, just go and buy it, you know. No conversion, marvangion, this, that, you know. I mean, this is I'm, crazy. I'm trying to find out how much it costs to um, buy a Bitcoin, yeah? So, and why, yeah? And, also, for example, if you buy one Bitcoin and it's worth $100, what happens if you need to send someone $10 or $5, you know? Do you have to send an, a twentieth of a Bitcoin or something? I'm not sure, yeah? So it's, it's, it's something quite new, uh, but is there a new innovation, something that like this that you think would be useful, yeah? So I'm just seeing if we can think creatively, if we've got a business idea amongst us. But I don't think so, yeah? I don't know either. Or if you knew, you wouldn't tell us, right? Well, the thing is, I think the idea should be, you know, to make it more simple, you know, and make it more universal, not, you know, like more complex, you know, like, for example, I mean, it should be like just one product or one one piece or something, you know, and, and that thing, I mean, your bank account should be connected with that thing and, you know, your ID, your passport, your birth certificate, your all education documents, your degrees, you know, your all bio data mm -hmm. and your all money and everything, you know, and your banks accounts and your property papers and everything I think should be centralized, you know, and with that chip or something, you know, I mean, it should be like more simple, you know. So don't invent something new, just simplify the current process we've got, yeah, so that's, that's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. so guys, we've run out of time very, very quickly. Chin, I couldn't hear you, but with the other guys, yeah, it was interesting as, as usual. Chin, I still can't hear you, but uh, have a good day, guys. Hopefully I can catch up with you later, okay? Take care. Thank you, Martin. Cheers.